Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Senior Awards Night and Scholarship Night. If everybody please rise with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It's my pleasure to welcome everybody. First and foremost, I'll be the first to congratulate all our seniors who are here tonight. It's a culmination of all your hard work and certainly one of the highlights of your high school career. We're certainly looking forward to hearing much more about you the next four years. As you came in, it was thinking about your ninth grade orientation four years ago, taking you through the halls. It's amazing how much you've accomplished, how much you've grown and changed, so congratulations. I'd also like to thank all the district teachers who were so uh, instrumental in getting our students here and working so hard, our staff members. And of course, to the parents, congratulations. You've been through a lot. It's been a challenging four years externally. Hopefully, we've made things as best as they could as a school district. Uh, but you've done amazing jobs with your students. And before I introduce our presenters, I'd like to thank our uh, Mrs. Lauren Nicoletos and Mrs. Dorian Pinto, especially Lauren, who worked in guidance. Lauren and Phil, this is a full-time, nine-month job, really, where they just track the scholarships and awards and do the best for our students and, and, and reach out to the organizations and follow up, so I thank you. So let me introduce Mr. Phil Tregley, who will now present the presentation. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Scholarship Night. I um, just want to congratulate all the students and families on their accomplishments, and good luck in the next four years. Um, as we begin, the first scholarship tonight is the AAUW Excellence in Writing Award. It's awarded to a senior girl who best fulfills the combined criteria of demonstrated service to her school, academic ability, and potential for future service to women in the solution of social and civic problems. This year's recipient is Annie Trinidad. Our next award is the AAUW Outstanding Student Award. It's awarded to a senior girl who best fulfills the combined criteria of demonstrated service to her school, academic ability, and potential for future service to women in the solution of social and civic, civic problems. This year's recipient is Nora Podal. The Bronxville Manor Association Scholarship is awarded to a college-bound high school senior who lives in Bronxville Manor and excels in academics. This year's recipient is Gavin Kelly. The next award is the Carolyn Siciliano Nabokali Memorial Scholarship. This is awarded to a senior who has aspirations of majoring in health science, physical mental, mental therapy, exercise science, medicine, or medical research. This year's recipient is Sabrina Pazonia. <laughs> Central Korean United Methodist Church Scholarship Fund is awarded to two high school seniors who are continuing their education at a four-year college and members of a Christian church. This year's recipients are Nicholas Santucci 
and Noel Simone. The Chester Heights Civic Association Scholarship is awarded to five college-bound high school seniors who reside in Chester Heights. This year's recipients are Matthew July, Nicholas O'Mahony, Sabrina Pizzonia, Nicholas Santucci, and Annie Trinidad. The Coach Bob Santucci Scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated the characteristics of hard work, perseverance, respect, citizenship, and leadership. This year's recipient is Nicholas Pagnata. The Coach Jerry DeSantis Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who most emulates what Coach D stood for, someone who gave everything to Tuckahoe High School and asked for nothing in return. This student demonstrates strong character and a drive in their academic focus, including great academic standing and extracurricular activities, community service. This year's recipient is Steven Zimmerman. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations to all tonight's award winners as well as the class of 2022. The next award is the Community College Scholarship Fund, and it is presented to five recipients this year. This year's recipients are Julia DaCosta, Anthony Hauser, Jason Letizia, Jared Malengo, and Kenyon Rogers. The Community Fund is awarded from donors of the Community Fund of Bronxville, East Chester, and Tuckahoe in memory of Michael Frey and in appreciation for all the support the community receives from its dedicated police, fire, and other emergency workers. This award also recognizes the support and dedication displayed towards their peers at the school and the community at large. This award is to be used to help further these students' higher education. This year's recipients are Emma Davis, Nora Padal, and Myrene Toledo.
The Donald Windy DISO scholarship is awarded to a student who has completed two years in the varsity sport of baseball or football. This year's recipient is Nicholas Santucci. The Eastchester Tuckahoe Chamber of Commerce Award is given to a student who is graduating during the current year from Tuckahoe High School and who has displayed exceptional character. This year's recipient is Isabella Peppermint. The Eastchester Italian American Club Scholarship is presented in memory of Nick Dioria and is awarded to three students who have completed four years of the Italian language, have completed community service, and have maintained good academic standing. This year's recipients are Jared Boyer, Emily Molito, and Isabella Pepperman. The Eastchester Police Association, in honor of Michael Frey, who was killed in the line of duty, awards a scholarship to a student who has shown good school citizenship, hard work, and plans to further his or her education. This year's recipient is Avi Sarma. The Eastchester Professional Firefighters Local 916, in memory of Thomas C. Viafori, is awarded to a student who demonstrates academic achievement, character, and school service. This year's recipients are Jessica Cronin and Andrew Reichel. The Eastchester Volunteer Fireman Company Award is presented to a senior who will be attending college in the fall and plans to pursue a career as a firefighter, law enforcement, or similar community service career. This year's recipients are Andrew Reichelt and Papa Sana Farid. I was told, hey, Gavin Kelly, uh, can you come up to accept the Bronxville Manners Association Scholarship Award? Congratulations, Gavin. Congratulations. The Eastchester Women's Club Award is awarded annually to two outstanding graduating seniors. This year's recipients are Tomo Ito and Brandon Lee.
The estate of Angela Grace Carapella Scholarship is awarded to two students based on character, academic effort, and service. This year's recipients are Ileana Dimitrov Torres and Abigail Luca. The Harriet K. Thompson plaques recognize two students for their outstanding character, cooperation, loyalty, and leadership. This year's recipients are Marcus Barreno and Papa Sana Farid. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is awarded to a student in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in instr instrumental music for singular merit in loyalty and cooperation and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. This year's recipient is Kanui Miyasaki. The Joseph Tolles Foundation Scholarship recognizes a college-bound senior who has overcome personal hardship having to do with family, economic, or emotional issues, and through their perseverance has been able to apply and gain acceptance to an institution of higher learning following graduation. This year's recipient is Carlos Guillen Placido. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is awarded to a student in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is hereby presented to Christopher Matthew Irving. Lieutenant Colonel Sam DiRienzo VFW Post Scholarship is in honor of active duty military, National Guards, first responders, and police. This award is awarded to a student who has been accepted into an accredited college, university, or trade school, has active participation in school and community programs, and has good academic achievement. This year's recipient is Owen Butler. Lower Hudson Council of School Superintendents Opportunity Scholarship is awarded to a student scholar who demonstrates a strong desire to achieve despite obstacles. This year's recipient is Jared Boyer.
The Lower Hudson Valley Diamond Foundation is awarded to an African-American or Latino-Hispanic descendant student who demonstrates high academic achievement. This year's recipient is Papa Sana Farid. The Mildred Zimmerman Scholarship is donated by the New York State United Teachers and is selected by our core of Tuckahoe High School teachers. This year, the award is presented to Marina Jones. The New York State Citizenship Award is awarded to a student who has made a significant impact on their school, community, or other area of civil life. This year's recipient is Jared Boyer. The New York State Comptroller's Achievement Award is presented each year to students who have excelled academically and who have also shown leadership potential by volunteering their time to serve the school or the community. Comptroller DiNapoli sends his sincere congratulations to this year's recipient, Matt Irving, and his best wishes to the graduating class of 2022. The New York State Office of the Attorney General Triple C Award is presented to a senior in recognition of commitment to the school and community, strength of character to make the right decisions, and courage to meet all the challenges ahead. This year's recipient is Mark Kikuchi. The New York State Department of Education Scholarship for Academic Excellence recognizes three students with the highest average and awards those who intend to study full-time and be matriculated in an approved undergraduate program of study in a New York State post-secondary institution and who have also displayed good academic standing. This year's recipients are Jared Boyer, Brandon Lee, and Isabella Pepperman. The Philip D. Tobin Award was created by the Eastchester Tuckahoe Democratic Committee in honor of the late Philip D. Tobin, mayor of the village of Tuckahoe and community activist, and is donated by Mr. and Mrs. Vito Pinto. This award is presented to a student who best exemplifies the spirit of caring about others 
through involvement in school and community activities. This year's recipient is Sophia Jordan. Um, I think Matthew July is here. And Matthew, you won the Chester Heights Civic Association Scholarship. So if you're here, can you come up and get your award? Sabrina? Thank you. <laughs> Sabrina Pizzonia, if you're here, the Civic the Chester Heights Civic Association Scholarship is awarded to you as well. Congratulations. The police officer Joseph DePippo Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated good citizenship, a strong work ethic. This year's recipient is Josue Aravalo. The Rachel's Challenge Award is presented to a student who most embodies the way Rachel Scott challenges us to live our lives. Without prejudice, daring to dream, choosing positive influences, and acting and speaking. This year's recipient is Malika Hajalari. The Rotary Club of East Eastchester, Edward R. Ruffalo Scholarship is awarded to a student who has displayed superior achievement in varsity athletics, has been recognized by coaches, team members, and conference officials. This year's recipient is Owen Butler. The Rotary Club of Eastchester John Bear Scholarship is awarded to a student who has displayed active participation in high school activities, events or projects, and community related programs with an above average GPA and exemplifies the Rotary motto of, of service above self. This year's recipient is Abigail Luca. The Sons of Italy Garibaldi Lodge Scholarship is awarded to a student who has achieved academic excellence in Italian as well as study the Italian language for four years or more. This year we have two recipients, Noel Simone and Isabella Peppermint.
Michael Mickey Morgan Scholarship is awarded to a senior who has displayed good character, honor, and ethics. This year's recipient is Angelina Letizia. The Stephen Wasco Memorial Award is given to a senior who, in the estimation of the faculty, most personifies those qualities of academic excellence and leadership in school activities that were so much a part of Stephen's character. Academic excellence speaks for itself. Leadership encompasses a total involvement in school life and a commitment to its growth and progress in such areas as student government, athletics, musical programs, Literary, literary endeavors or dramatics. This year's recipient is Annie Trinidad. The Tuckahoe Athletic Scholarship in memory of Augie Nardone is presented to two varsity athletes who competed in a JV or varsity sport for at least two years, including the senior year at Tuckahoe High. They demonstrated leadership and an overall sense of good moral character, citizenship. This year's recipients are Louis Chiavetta and Olivia Mondrone. The Tuckahoe GO Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has overcome a significant challenge in their life, and this year's recipient is Nicholas Santucci. The Tuckahoe Eastchester Lions Club Service Award is awarded to a senior for their community service to their community. This year's recipient is Steven Zimmerman. The Tuckahoe High School Class of 1970 and 1971 scholarship is awarded to three seniors who have performed past or present community service. This year's recipients are Louis Chiavetta, Michael Myers, and Steven Zimmerman. The Tuckahoe High School Scholarship in honor of Jackie Grill and George Bailey, Tuckahoe High School Class of 1957, is awarded to a student who demonstrates commitment to improving our society at the local, state, or national level. This year's recipient is Dulcidia Lazaro.
The Tuckahoe Police Department scholarship is awarded to a student who has performed a significant amount of community service, both past or present. This year's recipient is Angelina Letizia. The Tuckahoe PTA Scholarship is awarding six scholarships this year to students who have shown excellent character, involvement in school activities, and display leadership qualities. This year's recipients are Jared Boyer, Owen Butler, Abigail Luca, Nicholas Pagnata, not yet, almost, Nora Padole, and Steven Zimmerman. Congratulations. Congratulations. The Tuckahoe School Foundation Scholarships Achievement of Excellence Award are funded by the individual members of the foundation and are awarded to graduating seniors who have exhibited a commitment to the school and their commu community. This year's recipients are Owen Butler, Toma Ido Chahaya, Nicholas Pagnata, Nora Padol, and Papa Sanafari. The Tuckahoe Soccer Parent Scholarships are presented to graduating seniors who have shown athletic prowess and dedication to the sport of soccer. This year's recipients are Owen Butler, Ava Casaza, Angelina Letizia, Emily Melito, and Steven Zimmerman. The Tuckahoe Youth Association Scholarship is awarded to four students who have participated in TYA baseball or softball for a minimum of two years. This year's recipients are Owen Butler, Angelina Letizia, Michael Myers, and Nicholas O'Mahony. The Tuckahoe High School four-year awards are determined by the highest average in each subject. In the subject of art, the award recipient is Annie Trinidad. In the subject of choral music, Noelle Simone.
in the subject of instrumental music, Kanui Miyasaki. In the subjects of English, Italian, Mathematics, Science, and Social Studies, Jared Boyer. In physical education, Owen Butler and Myrene Toledo. In Spanish, Ileana Dimitrov Torres. In strings, Matthew July. Spirit is defined as the non-physical part of a person, which is the seat of emotion and character, the soul. The student receiving this award bleeds orange and black. She is a person who always has a smile on her face, and that smile is infectious to others. She prioritizes her peers over herself and defines Tiger Pride. It is my pleasure to present Irene Maris with the Tuckahoe High School School Spirit Award. Leadership is defined as the ability to influence, inspire, and help others become the best version of themselves. In order to lead, a person must first develop a, and hone their own personal skills. Over the past six years, it has been my honor to watch this young lady evolve into the intelligent and confident leader that she is today. She leads by example, always thinks of others before herself, and never expects anything in return. I am very proud to present the Tuckahoe High School Class Leadership Award to Julia DaCosta. And for our final two awards of the evening, the Lower Hudson Council for School Superintendents Award, the 2022 Salutatorian, Brandon Lee. And last but certainly not least, the Lower Hudson Council of School Superintendents Award, Tuckahoe High School's Class of 2022 Valedictorian, Jared Boyer.
Again, we'd like to extend our congratulations to Tuckahoe's class of 2022. Thank you for being here to celebrate the evening. Doc would like to end us off. Thank you very much, everyone. One moment. Principal's privilege first. Let's give a thank you to the jazz band for tonight. They're going to be playing on their way out. I'd like to thank Mr. DeBellis for his support and hard work all year, Dr. Goodman, the Board of Education for their support. And let's give our award winners a round of applause before we all leave. Thank you very much, everybody. Safe home. <laughs>